Hi and welcome back for another video. My name is Nick and today we're going to be jumping down into the world of Cardano's ADA again, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what we think is likely to happen next and all that wonderful stuff, right? So um, as I get into this video, if you do find it useful, informative, maybe even entertaining at times, then why not go ahead and smash that like button? I really do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap in the bell and selecting all the notifications and you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky crypto you can always unsubscribe later and um if you haven't joined us in discord guys you are missing a trick there you should probably check it out linked in the description down below it's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and it is the first place that we go to to notify you of everything that's going on in the crypto space so keep a finger on the pulse of crypto join us down in discord i don't think you'll regret it let's jump right down into this one right so i'm gonna i always like to kind of start here now and just kind of review where we uh, have been putting videos out what they currently uh, kind of look like and all that kind of stuff so uh, we last video we did on cardano is uh, over here um so this would have actually have gone out a slightly different time let me see if I can get that on this one. Um, so this video here would have gone out at 2100 on the 3rd of April. And we can see that right in here. Okay, so at the point of recording, I don't know where that price was, somewhere around there. Um, and we're looking for a bit of a move to the upside on the smaller time frames. And we did see a little bit of a bump here to the upside. It's nothing major though. Uh, we'll put another horizontal, uh, horizontal or vertical line. Um, and we're going to put that right here because the video is due to go out soon and it'll be there. And I'll draw another arrow right in there and we'll do the thumbnail for this at a later date um so yeah basically what we've got going on here um is basically me tracking where i put these videos out whether i am correct or incorrect um and i can hold myself accountable for it but it also means that you can take a look at this and you can see the calls for yourself and you can make your own assumptions as to whether or not um you know, things are accurate here or not. It's entirely up to you. But this is a good way for me to kind of keep uh, account, be, become accountable for the things that I'm saying in these videos. And uh, you can hold me accountable to it as well. Let's go ahead, though, and jump into the analysis side, right? So now we can kind of see this. So we'll start with some Elliott Wave theory. We can see here that we had this local top. Now we're on the daily chart. I'm only going to be looking at the daily charts here, okay? Because this is really what I want to be focusing in on at the moment. And I, we can see this five wave structural point coming down. And this is the main concern at the moment. We're kind of currently starting in the smaller movements going on in here between 37 and 40 cent right that, that's kind of a given right there's some micro movements on the hourly chart for example um and that might play out it might push up higher one of the things though on our daily that we really really want to make sure that we are aware of is that there's a high and this high the local high up here at 42.13 cent and then we've got a local low down at 29.76 cent. Now that has a five wave structural point taking us down lower. Now what we don't know at this point is whether or not this is going to be a beginning of a bigger structure, as in you're starting with five waves, or this is the end of a structure. Okay, we're ending in five waves. Um, and when you start with five waves, you must end in five waves, but you can end in five waves even if you start with three, for example, okay? So that's why we don't necessarily know. There's a couple of different ways this can play out. So for example, right here, we can look at this as a irregular flat doing this, A, B, and C, right? B wave goes up higher than the origin of our um, A wave. Okay, and the C wave comes down deeper than the A wave. Now this is deeper than you would normally expect to see an irregular flat. Okay, so it makes me feel like it is not an irregular flat situation and actually is the beginning of maybe a zigzag pattern, which would be five down, three up, five down. And we have a very corrective pattern here taking us up higher. So to me, it feels like we should probably be thinking about another five wave drop to the downside. Um, but in order for that to be valid or to stay valid, we cannot cross any higher than 42.13, which is our swing high. So for us right now, we are in a state of... Um, concern because it can go uh, either way and we haven't really got a good confirmation yet of knowing exactly what is likely to happen now i personally think there's still a little bit further upside to be had here before we actually go on down and the reason for that is i'm looking at this little area just here and I'm thinking to myself that we probably have to come down a fraction here, okay, and then we have to move up a little bit. And if I go ahead and show you this, and I take from this little swing low down here uh, over to an approximate area over here, we can see that we might be pushing up again, maybe a double top kind of situation. Because what I'm looking at here is I'm thinking to myself as we have some kind of correction in here, something to this effect, that then allows us to wrap all of this up as three waves like so. 
Okay. Now, on that note, it's not a guarantee that we do such a thing. And actually, we could just be breaking down from here. Um, but until we get confirmation, it's really hard to know. Now, we can, of course, with a daily uh, time frame like this, kind of be okay to kind of short the market and hold a good swing, uh, a good good stop loss above that swing high, right? We know what would break our structure, which will be 42.13. So just put in that stop loss just above 42.13 and put in our take profit lower than our swing low. We can get a pretty decent R&R, &R, right? A risk reward ratio of well over 2.3. Um, and actually, that's not too bad. And we can be a little bit more descriptive over where it could go potentially uh, as the structures start to emerge. So where we are right now, it isn't actually terribly too bad for thinking about maybe doing a short position on Cardano's ADA, as long as you're willing to stay in the red for a few days or so uh, and potentially ride that up a little bit. Now, obviously, I do think there's going to be a better entry if we were to go down into the smaller time frames. OK, we might be able to kind of really get this ramped up and do a bit of a snipe here and get a risk reward ratio much greater than 2.3, maybe 4.6 and so forth. So this isn't to kind of say that there's going to be a perfect entry. I'm not going to snipe it. But if you're quite happy to kind of hold a position for multiple weeks, then this could be something that might be interesting to you guys. Now, if you are actively trading, then you, why not check out BitGet linked in the description down below. BitGet is my go to platform at the moment for all my trading, whether that is spot trading or leverage trading. OK, now there's a lot of FUD circulating at the moment around BitGet. And I do urge you guys to join us down in Discord if you haven't done so already. We can discuss more in details down there. Um, but I do consider it all FUD. And actually, when I look into it and uh, in detail and we can see what BitGet are putting out in terms of their press releases, I'm more than happy to say that no one I know of has ever had any issues with BitGet. I haven't had any issues with BitGet and I'm using BitGet for everything at the moment. So um, I just label it up as FUD and we can talk more about that down in the Discord server about why I think this as well. So do join us down there. Um, ultimately though, there are some fantastic offers available. If you are looking to sign up to BitGet, you can get uh, cash back when you deposit $50 USDT, get $10 USDT back. They also do deposit bonuses all the way up to $8,000 depending on how much you deposit and how much trading volume you put through on the platform. Now above and beyond those two things, we also have weekly competitions down in our Discord server where we uh, offer offering $100 per week um, to the winner who has the best ROI percentage within that seven day period. Now you can see down here that we've got uh, various different people actually participating in this. Um, and this is a competition that we are doing. This is a cheeky crypto competition down in Discord. Um, and we just use BitGet to gather the information. Okay, so you have to sign up with BitGet on our link in the description in order to be able to participate. And when you do your trading there, it gathers all that information in and we're able to send the winner the $100 USDT. Now one of the things that we want to do here is scale this. We want it to be uh, starting at 100 here, then we want to go to 1,000, then we want to go to 10,000 and so forth. The more people that actually participate, the bigger the prize pool becomes. And then we might expand that above and beyond just the, the person who has the best ROI to maybe the top five people, then the top 10 and, and so forth, right? So if you're looking to kind of get involved in a community and you're looking to get into trading and that kind of stuff, then why not check out BitGet? Check out Discord as well, all linked in the description below. Um, okay, let's jump back down into this, right? So if I'm just going to short it, that's kind of, you know, something that I could do. But I think there's better entries to be had. Um, maybe today isn't the best day to do it. But, you know, nonetheless, we can see what's going on there. So anyway, theory has us pretty much anchored in to this kind of area right now. We'd love to be thinking about this move to the downside. Now, as we come up into our smart money concepts, we end up in a very similar situation, right? We can see down here that there are some interesting areas for Cardano's ADA. There's not so many um, fair value gaps that were left behind according to Lux Algo's smart money concepts, but I did draw in a couple that I could see. And um, so there are a couple of areas that are interesting to me, 25.5 and 20 uh, to 26. 6.3 and um, that's on the low side and then we have this one in the mid range about 28.06 to 29.5 uh, these to me look like they should have been actually signaled up by the algorithm in i oh, say the algorithm but the uh, lux algo uh, let's get my words out smart money concepts indicator it didn't do those I just drew them on um, and we can see that there so uh, I think there's going to be some kind of retracement now we can of course see that there are some minor movements to the upside here and there also were some major movements to the downside but if we zoom out of this daily chart just for a fraction we can see that our big structure is still very much bearish and it hasn't changed it hasn't flipped into a bullish state yet so everything here looks like it is still bearish on this daily time frame and we should be pretty concerned about that we can also 
also see that we are high on the stochastic on the daily. We're overbought on the weekly. Things are not stacking up brilliantly for long positions on Cardano's ADA. So I do think and I do look at this thing as a big correction pattern coming and taking us down into these fair value gaps. Now, I'm not saying that we have to go down lower than the low that we've already in, but I do suspect we probably might at some point in the future. At the moment, though, we do have to look at this thing as a corrective structure, and we do kind of have to think to ourselves about coming down and testing these lows. So I do think there's going to be some fantastic shorting opportunities on Cardano, and I do think that we see that pretty clearly here within the smart money concepts and within the Elliott Wave theory. We can see that there's this big area of red up here. This is all selling pressure. We can see that we're below equilibrium and we're getting rejected right now from the 200 EMA on the daily time frame. So ultimately things here are not stacking up positively for Cardano and I would expect us to be looking at this as a major rejection point. And as I said, shorting the market, I still think we might get a better entry on a smaller time frame, but you know, shorting the market I think is actually where Cardano currently sits. Now, if I take this up into our kind of major areas of support and resistance we can see that I've labeled a couple of key areas for us. Um, 44 cent is the main one that I'm really kind of concerned with. I'll drag this yellow box over here. You can actually see 40.23 40 to 44.83. Um, and that's an area of uh, previous um, demand turning into resistance or supply, right? Demand, now supply. And we can kind of see these kind of key areas. 44 cent is a key one for me personally. I don't think we should be pushing higher than 44 cent. We'll have to see how that kind of goes. But 42.15, uh, sorry, 42.13 right now, this swing high, I think this is going to hold as we have that five wave count going down. And I say it can be an irregular flat. It will be unusual to do that, but it could still be an irregular flat. Um, but I think actually we're probably in a zigzag pattern taking us down into those deeper levels. So ultimately, for Cardano's ADA here on these daily timeframes, I am seeing it in a bearish state. Um, that's pretty much confirmed from Smart Money Concepts. I'm also looking at Elliott Wave Theory indicating that we probably have a zigzag pattern taking us down into those deeper levels. And um, ultimately, I don't think there's any reason to think that we're going to be able to push past these resistances on these higher timeframes at the moment. So I think ultimately, yeah, we're going to be looking at uh, the daily timeframe in a little bit of a bearish light for a little bit longer, in my humble opinion. I'm going to leave this video there, though. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Really interesting interested to get everyone's thoughts and opinions on whether you think Cardano is going to be able to smash past that 44 cent level or whether or not you think that actually, yeah, we're probably going to be having to retest sub 30 cent once again. Uh, let me know in the comments if you found this useful, smash that like button. If you're new, subscribe. Don't think you'll regret that. Join us down in Discord. And if you haven't yet signed up to BitGet, check it out. Linked in the description below. I don't think you'll regret that either. And uh, with all that said, done now the way. I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one. We are not financial advisors. None of what we have communicated early or in writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate offers and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to lose your entire investment. This video is an information and entertainment advice only. All our videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.